All right, ladies, let's uh, start off with a little sizzle right now for the show here and start off with a man who is stealing hearts on Netflix's On the Block. Oh, I love that one. Isn't that the show about the high school students in LA, sort of a coming of age story? Yes, it's so good. And Julio Macias is a rising star for sure. You know, he actually put so much work into transforming into this character. And he also told me a really funny story about a fan and a tattoo. Julio, how are you? Hi, good morning. I'm doing good. How are you doing? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. So how are you holding up during quarantine? Good. Uh, doing a lot of reading, uh, writing with some friends, sketches, and uh, playing music. So I'm playing a lot of music. I'm in my music room right now. <laughs> Fantastic. It's so crazy because I'm looking at you right now and I'm, I'm just like, wait, this is the same person that I'm supposed to be talking to. It's incredible <laughs> how much of a difference uh, a character makes. So let's talk about On My Block, Spooky. Um, you have just completely transformed into this character. How much time goes into this, uh, into, into preparing for this role? The first year I did it, it took a couple of months, maybe three or four months. Um, I'm, you know, I gained 20, 25 pounds um, to kind of get that spooky look. Um, yeah, I shaved my head. I, I kind of walked around sort of. Uh, I did a bunch of reading. I, I wanted to bring uh, respect and, and understanding to this community. And um, and then after that, yeah, I mean, Lauren, Eddie, and Jeremy are, are such fantastic writers. I mean, the entire writing staff, you know, it's 10 plus writers, I think. And um, they really they really know their stuff. And so I just trust what they wrote. And I brought um, my understanding of the Mexican American experience to what they already wrote. Um, but yeah, it's it's definitely a blast to play spooky. It's incredible too. Do you just like in between scenes, do you just walk around acting like spooky or are you <laughs> back to Julio? It's always uh, just kind of I always wonder about that. Yeah, I it depends. Since it's since it's a comedy, if the if the scene is funny, I like to just drop spooky and kind of walk around and shake it off because um Sometimes I bring it home and, and uh, my wife doesn't like that. So, uh, but if it's a serious scene, yeah, I kind of pace back and forth and I just kind of stay tense and stay in the zone, um, wow. you know, and it's, it's just quicker for everybody on set, you know, uh, for camera, for lighting, it, you know, if you're yeah. already there, if you're ready to go, you know, you're not wasting any time. Absolutely. And I think what's so fascinating about this character is that Fans are obsessed with Spooky. I mean, usually when there's a gang leader, they're not too keen on this person and they don't really root for him, but everyone seems to be rooting for him. Yeah, you know, he's, a, he's an underdog. And it's, I think people think if, if Spooky can get out of a bad situation, then, then I can get out of a bad situation. But the fans are incredibly supportive. Um, I saw somewhere that someone got a tattoo of Spooky, so that was really cool. <laughs> So, like, your face is on somebody's body right now? <laughs> uh, I like to think that Spooky's face is on somebody's okay. body. <laughs> All, right. All right. Well, well, another role that you're actually in that is recognizable, people will know that it's you, is Selena. Talk about that. Yeah. That's so exciting. Uh, yeah. It's, uh, it was, culturally, for me, it was, you know, mind blown. I, wow. I've grown to be a huge Selena fan now. But as a kid, I would definitely recognize her songs. Uh, you know, when my parents would go away and my, my primos would put it on, that's how I knew the party was starting and, and whatnot. And, and Pita Sudillo, um, you know, he's her uh, duetist, vocalist. So he sang a lot of songs with her, uh, wrote a lot of the songs with her, um, danced his butt off on stage. So I had to learn my cumbias. That was something oh, that man. I, yeah. You know, um, so now your wife I, can dance. Now you can wife. Now you can dance with your wife, yeah. and she's happy. Now I, you know, I cannot embarrass her <laughs> just by doing, you know, this. Um, yeah. <laughs> but uh, another fun thing about uh, Pete Tesolillo is that he had at the time a long hair mullet. So I go from bald on on my blog to mullet rocking in the '80s in, with Pete. <laughs> Wow, so that's like it's a requisite now. You have to either go from extreme character roles, like that's that's a lot yeah. of fun now. That's so cool. Oh yeah, it's a blast. It's a, you know, and and it really is a different. It, they're both Mexican Americans, but it's just two different worlds, you know. Two completely different sides of the spectrum. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Julio. Best of luck. Stay safe. And for all of you out there that want to catch on my blog, it is now streaming on Netflix. So check it out. It's a fantastic show. Thank you so much, Julio. Thank you very much. Stay healthy.